Call me a WWE mark all you want, but the reality of it all is, brother, AEW had just signed Ric Flair. They got Rob Van Dam. They got Sting. They got Edge, Adam Copeland. They got Christian Cage. Who else do they got? They got the Hardy Boys. Um, who else do they got? <sighs> bro, who else do they got? Oh, I heard that they were going to sign the uh, the Ultimate Hulk Hogan, bro. I thought, I, I'm pretty sure I heard that they're going to sign the Immortal Hulk Hogan. They were going to bring in Scott Steiner, Rick Steiner. It's all being confirmed, bro. They're going to sign those guys. They're also going to bring in Sid Vicious. They're going to bring in Lex Luger, bro. They're going to bring in all the all the classic wrestlers, bro. Before you know it, it's, gonna, it's not going to be AEW no more. It's going to be CEW, Classic Elite Wrestling, bro, or HEW, Historic Elite Wrestling, bro. Because what in the fuck are they doing, bro? Like, the young talent at AEW, which they, they got talent, bro, no doubt about it. But the young guys... That thought they were gonna get a chance at W. That thought they were gonna get a chance at AEW because WWE fo focused too much on, you know, guys like John Cena, big name guys over there, John Cena, and uh, you know who else? Uh, Roman Reigns. Um, and then they go to AEW right because they're like, oh, you know, we don't gotta worry about that. We don't gotta worry about you know those big names. Over there. Bro, they're over there. The they was working for a little bit. It was working for a little bit. Next thing you know, here comes Sting, Rob Van Dam, Edge, Christian, uh, Ric Flair, Hulk Hogan, bro. Like, bro, come on. What are we doing out here, bro? These dudes were wrestling back in the 80s. These dudes were wrestling back in the 90s. Like, come on, man. There's there's kids out there. There's kids like my daughter and my son that are like 13 to 10 years old, bro. Like, these these kids don't care about them historic dinosaurs, bro. Like, dude, it's basically AEW is become, becoming the nostalgia of all of wrestling, bro. Like, Tony Khan does not know what he's doing, bro. Like, what the hell? Like, the crazy thing is AEW is letting go of all the young talent, like, all the young um, up-and-coming talented uh, wrestlers or entertainers, whatever you want to call them, and they're letting them go to the WWE. Meanwhile, the WWE is getting rid of all the old talent, all the talent that's useless, and AEW is just signing them, bro. Like, what the fuck are they doing, bro? Is that what it takes to be a, a millionaire, bro? Because if that's what it takes to be a millionaire, I got plenty of ideas, Tony Khan. Call me. Reach, reach out to me. on this, Reach out on this channel right here on Skull Zone right here on, on YouTube. I also got a TikTok. If you like TikTok, Skull Zone 419 over there on TikTok. Hey, man. Hey, hit me up for ideas, Tony Khan. Hey, I can, I can, I can spark them ratings way up over a million, bro. Like, if you think that that's working, bro, bring in some. His how old is Ric Flair, bro? I haven't even checked, bro. I know that he was old back in the, his WCW days. He was wrestling back in the seventies, bro. Like this dude was wrestling with Dusty Rhodes. Uh, what you call it? Uh, the American Dream. Cody Rhodes' dad, bro. And Cody Rhodes' dad passed away how long ago, bro? Rest in peace. This dude right here, uh, huh? All they're missing is Hulk Hogan, bro. You mark my words, Hulk Hogan won't make an appearance in AEW, bro. That shit is ridiculous, bro. That shit is fucking ridiculous. No way in hell, bro. No way in hell. Dude, that dude, Ric Flair, has got to be in his 80s, bro. There's no way in Sting, bro. This dude, because those two combined got to be almost 200, 200 years old, bro. They got to be almost 200 years old combined, bro. That shit is crazy.